So we recently just got a canvas, a photo book, and some cards from mixbook.com. And I really love their interface, so I wanted to put a quick tutorial together of how I set everything up and ordered everything. That's coming up right now. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here on the Sean Thinks YouTube channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. On this channel we do uh, like gift idea videos and some lifestyle content. So if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by and definitely subscribe. And hey, in all my videos, I always put a summary and links and everything like that in the YouTube description. So definitely check that out at any time if you have any questions right below this video. But hey, let's cut over to a tutorial of how we set the stuff up and we'll start with the photo book. Okay, so here we are in the My Project section of Miss Book and first I'll go to the uh, classic square photo book that we picked out. And you can just go up to the photo books. They've got um, them for all kinds of different seasons and my wife Sonia and I are already planning out our next one. Uh, but now we'll jump into the editor. And the first thing is how you get photos into your project. And so we have all these photos added over here that we were able to put into the book. Um, and specifically, you can add photos uh, from Instagram, Facebook, Flickr that are already online or just uploaded them from your computer. And so very cool, easy to do. Now, one of the things that we did right off the bat here, um, this was their own sticker that was on the cover. We love that is I actually use a site called Unsplash and um, technically like you couldn't use copyright written photos for your project, but no one's ever gonna you know really know. But even saying that, uh, the cool thing about Unsplash is that they're literally photos you can use for whatever you want. And so to kind of give the photo book a cool vibe, we got some nature photos um, off of this site. There it is. So we actually used that photo, downloaded it, and that made for a nice cover, especially with our families kind of being from the Northwest. We wanted to have that, uh, that vibe there. So I uh, also did the same thing here. And what's cool here is um, you could easily change the text, and we did. So I, I forget what it said there, but you can just go in here. And as you can see, we typed in some different text. And so the goal of this photo book was to create something we could give the whole family, but really specifically give it to my mom and my stepdad. And so uh, a lot of families these days are mixed. And so we have stepbrothers and my stepsister, and then we've got uh, their spouses and then grandkids, et cetera, et cetera. So that was kind of the theme that we wanted to do. And so what we did was we collected photos um, from their uh, Facebook pages. And so it'll be a surprise for them uh, when they see the book that they're all together in one place. And so these photos are, that's like a point and shoot camera. Some of these are from their Facebooks. And then some are from um, iPhone and Facebook and all over different kinds of places. And one of the cool things that it'll do is it'll actually, when you uh, add the photo, you could drag around, as you can see uh, here, how it's framed up and you can make it larger. If the photo's not big enough, like if it's not good enough quality, it'll give you a warning. It gives you like a little yellow warning, which is really great. You can change the layouts and backgrounds. We didn't, so we just uh, went with um, this setup uh, uh, here and we made a few tweaks. And that's one of the things that I think I like about Mixbook is that if you wanna keep it simple, uh, you can do that. Um, if you want to uh, get highly customized, there's different backgrounds that you could add if you wanted. So you've got the layouts of the photos and then you've got stickers and that's what these are. And you can um, move these around, which is uh, really cool. And you could add different ones. And there's the ones that are in here. If you just wanted to get uh, you know, creative and, and do uh, more stuff, it's super easy to do. And I like the customizability on say this page specifically, because I forget what it said there, but it wasn't really relevant. We really wanted to use this picture of my stepdad and two stepbrothers. And uh, so uh, we changed the word to legacy and you can change the fonts really easy um, and change the size. And so that's all in there and just drag things around. And then this love word was actually up here on uh, this picture of us. And as dudes, we didn't want like the, I mean, the love, like, sure, I love you, but like, I mean, I'm not going to say it, but anyways, uh, so it made more sense for my stepdad and uh, stepsister 
uh, to to have the love there, and it worked. And then this photo was a little bit uh, le- lower quality, and this was higher quality. So this one was originally up here, and it gave me the warning. So you can just kind of do that customizability. And one cool thing too is you can do a thing where you just upload all the photos and you say auto fill the whole book and boom, it just does it for you. So, um, you could really spend as much or as little time as you want. And then we came to this page as far as ordering them and we, uh, grabbed just a classic, uh, for ourselves. And then we wanted to grab a larger one for my mom and dad specifically. So we got them a 10 by 10. And then what we did was we actually got soft covers for everyone in the family, uh, my, uh, siblings, uh, for each household. And so that allowed us to kind of spread the budget out on the project. And so, yeah, there's all kinds of different ones. Uh, we were in the kind of the family category. That's where we found ours. Great ones for kids, uh, seasonal ones, romance ones. Sonia and I are definitely thinking we just celebrated our 10 year anniversary. So we're thinking about doing kind of like a romance, uh, you know, photos from over the years and things like that. Next, let's jump into the cards. And so these were pretty simple and straightforward to put together. And the nice thing again is that you don't really have to, you don't have to do any customization at all. At all. You could literally just drag and drop uh, the photo right in there and change, you know, what it is. But what I like is that you do have a little bit of customization. And we did quite a few subtle things. I think there was a picture up here and down here with the text in the middle. And so we wanted to go with this bigger picture and we put this one uh, in here. And then what we did was we shrunk Merry Christmas and specifically added a little uh, verse from the Bible down here. And what was cool is like when moving this around, it actually shows you where text is not safe. See how that popped up right there? So we could know that that was going to turn out good. Um, We could uh, add photos and play around with it. And uh, that was very nice. And then what's also cool, and I've been on a lot of different sites that just don't allow customization, was that this back was completely blank. And so it was really easy to actually just drag a photo and you could, you know, literally do whatever you want uh, in here and just take it off if you want it gone. So we were able to add this Rosie, uh, that's my dog, and add a little quote from her and then also add this photo shoot by John. Jonathan Mediana, uh, just to kind of thank him even more because a uh, great friend and does really great work. So, and then what's cool here is you've got just the regular uh, matte uh, finish. We actually went with the premium, which had like kind of a Nordstrom catalog vibe, which was super cool. I'm sure that's great. And then the satin finish actually subtracts a little bit of money. You can save money there. So, uh, those are those options there. And then you can just add as many as you want to your cart. And actually one thing that to notice that's really cool is that at any given time, definitely check out the promos they're running because you could see the prices on these different things, but there's usually some good promo codes. So I'll link up some stuff in the YouTube description, check it out down there. But I always look online to uh, Google coupon codes. Do you do that? I always do that. I Google the store name and then like coupon code to try to find a good one when checking out. So there's always some cool mixed book one. And then lastly, this is super easy to set up. Let's jump into the canvas. And so this is pretty straightforward. You can upload and change the photo. And what I really like is that it shows you the edges of the canvas, like what's going to be printed on the seams. Uh, Cause I've ordered ones before where like I've cut people's, you know, foreheads off because it's on the edge of the canvas. And so you can just kind of zoom in, pick out the, the final, uh, you know, uh, arrangement and then you're good to go. And then you can just pick your size and, uh, add it to cart and you're done. Question of the day. Have you used any cool photo book sites for canvases or cards or anything like that? Would love to hear your experience and connect with you in the comment section below this video. So, Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe here on YouTube for more videos just like this. And don't forget to check out the show notes for links to uh, other videos and things that you might be interested in. If you appreciated this video, I'd love it if you hit the like button, leave me a comment about future videos or maybe things you'd like to see reviewed on this channel. And until next time, keep crushing it and we will talk soon.